Hey everybody, welcome back to the War of 40,000 Battle Report. Today, my world leaders are taking on Ben in a 1500 point battle report against his Space Wolves. So let's take a look at this 1500 point list of world leaders. I want to explain something. Um, because I play so many different games, so many different game systems, and so many different armies, I'm going to have to do little clusters of armies to minimize like the forgetting of rules. So for the next little bit, I'll do some world leader battle reports. So basically, I played world leaders today during my day job at Mini Wargaming. So I used to play world leaders in the evening, trying to mitigate the mistakes from playing one army to another in the same day. So uh, again, because nothing more has really come up for this army, it hasn't really expanded too much. So we're gonna be led by a Lord Invocatus. And we also have a DM Prince with a sword. Oh, he's hidden in the shadows. Uh, he has the Helm of Brazen Ire for a Warlord trait. No, sorry, a Relic. I think a minus one to wound. And then we'll have an elite detachment for our Arcs of Omen, with two units of Terminators with a Power Fist on the leader. Two units of Eight bound, one unit of exalted eight bound with the glaive on the unit leader. We have our jackals all kitted up, and oh, one squad's missing, but there's gonna be three squads of berserkers. Two of them have banners, one of them doesn't, because you know, wait, he's what you get. That's 1500 points of the world leaders. Today, I'm bringing my Space Wolves up against Steve's World Eaters. Uh, I'm trying to get this as close to WYSIWYG as possible. There's a couple weird little things, but it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, today, everything is being run by a Wolf Priest with Thunder Pack, Power Fist, um, and he's going to have the Warlord trait and order, Chant 2, get him on 2s, uh, running a Wolf Lord on Thunder Wolf with Thunder Hammer Storm Shield. The only thing he's going to have is a Relic, the Pelt of the Bale Wolf. Um, the... Iron Priest, because he's not a Tech Marine, because this is Space Wolves, and I'm stubborn. Uh, he's going to be uh, running his ability as well with the, uh, the chapter-specific thing where he gets to just heal three automatically instead of D3. Um, I'm running two Wolf and Dreadnoughts that are going to have Axe and Shield, a squad of Thunder Hammer Terminators, um, all with uh, Thunder Hammer Sor Storm Shield. Um, How many points you pay for a little Thunder Hammer Storm Shield? Uh, I don't know. The whole thing's like uh, 340 divided by two. <laughs> 170, that's the one. Um, uh, three Thunder Wolf Cavalry. Uh, that's not Wolf and Wolfiness of the Wolfiness. Uh, it's just a sergeant with Frost Claws. So that's another CP I spent on that. That guy, I promise, has Frost Claws, and that guy's Thunder Hammer Storm Shield. Uh, we're coming over here to Wolfen. We're doing Thunder Hammer Storm Shield with the sergeant on claws because they don't give you the option on the sergeant. Um, I'm running. Uh, one regular Redemptor Dreadnought with WYSIWYG and a Brutalis Dreadnought once also with WYSIWYG. Uh, over here we're going to have some Long Fangs and I'm doing the weird meta thing where I give them all the things. So Laz Cannons, Cyclone Missile Launcher, Cherub, Plasma Gun on the Sergeant, like whole kit and caboodle. So we're going to see how this goes against Steve's World Eaters today. This is how the game's going to be set up today. So we have d diagonal deployments. I kind of have the card laid out, how the battlefield's laid out, so you can see all the space holes on this side. And the world eaters are, like, way over there. Right past Steve. Say hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Ah, I did the thing. Uh, you did the thing. Um, we are doing Claim the Battlefield as the uh, primary mission. Uh, it's going to be Hold 1, Hold 2, and then Claim Some. So we're going to be performing act actives with uh, infantry or obsec units to claim and maintain control of uh, objective markers. And then secret intel, uh, you only get your CP if your warlord's alive, so keep your warlord alive, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, with that, let's get into the roll off. Who's going first, Steve? Well, probably Steve. I did not want to go first. Definitely Steve, I can live with that. Okay. Uh, world leaders, turn one. Now what's happening, Steve? Okay, we need some pre-game moves, because uh, we gotta make sure we gotta stay alive safe from guns, you gotta be very cautiously when you're out firepowered. So they moved out of line of sight. Uh, Lord of the backed up and they move forward a little bit, not being overly aggressive with, um, oh, we can really short deployment yet. Um, uh, my Exalted 8-bound are in Warp Strike, and my 8-bound are both in, uh, Outflank. Uh, so that's my pre-game move. I'm gonna hide and try to play the points game. Do you want to explain time. to people how the Battlefield Edge and Deployment yeah. Zone is working out for this? This has come up so rare for us over the years that I had to, I had to look it up just recently. Uh, so that's Ben's Battlefield Edge. But his deployment comes all the way up to here. So outflankers can't come, so on turn two, the things that come on outflank can't come on this table edge because that'd be in Ben's territory. And they can't come on that table edge because that's his battlefield edge. So it's not really useful here. But my guys can come on one turn early, or count the turn number as being one turn higher. So turn one, I can come on outflank with my eight bound, uh, but here or there. 
I could come on here, which I can make a you know turn one charge. Not terrible. Not terrible. Uh, or I can wait to turn two, and I can't come on here. Nobody else can, but they count the turn as one higher. So I can come on Ben's deployment. So it's two. still viable to have them in reserve yeah. with this deployment. You just have to think about it a little bit differently. Yeah. So our pregame move is hide. Uh, there's nothing to do in our command phase other than we reach him at that point. That's true. Which I did. You get five. And in, in a minute, I will figure out how many command points I have. Yeah. I'm going to move slightly, but it's not going to be much at all. I'm going to hide in the line of sight and move on forward and do actions on a couple of objectives. So you're going to wait until you have support from the 8th bound before you're really kind of Well, command. okay, so if there's a table, I was going to just, play, like, I, I enjoy playing leaders and just, like, run forward and go hope for the best. Yeah. But Ben wants to play against me. So uh, if I just went out in the middle, like, his guns, even though he doesn't have a whole lot, he has enough quality firepower to do some serious damage to me. So there's no point in engaging him. Uh, where he'll just whittle me down too heavily, so I'm going to hide and wait, which means eventually to get points, we're going to have to fight over objectives, and that's where I want to fight. So I'll have Ben come a little forward first, so I'll show you right up with my movement. And I'll keep uh, trying to hold the camera a little bit higher so I don't get lights in the back of the shot. Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> so these are going to be Steve's objectives. It's going to be capture enemy outposts, <laughs> no blood and guts, Love it. eventually, um, and extend battle lines. I think I can do that very easily. All right, Steve, you going to let us know what your movement looks like now? Uh, I'm thinking about spending a command point to swap out capture enemy outposts. Ooh, really? But I think we're going to brawl, and I'm going to need every CP I can get. Fair. It's, it's not worth risking uh, another bad card. So Fair. I'm going to discard the end of my turn. But yeah, let's go into movement. I'll show you where I end up. All right. What's it look like? All right, uh, we have uh, moved forward, pushed this way. We've moved on to the objective. We're going to do the action on this objective here with our berserkers. That's claimed. We're going to do the action here with our jackals. And then we're just kind of hiding in a light sight from things and doing the action, getting objectives, get, waiting, preparing. Uh, we're not going to bring any strategic reserves. Uh, I'm going to wait until I can pounce with multiple units and let's see what Ben does. I think your shooting is going to be minimal, if anything at all, right? Yeah, probably. So yeah, it's good to be patient and wait right now. As we uh, end our turn, we are going to discard, capture enemy outposts. So we ain't doing that anytime soon. No, I guess not. Eh? And then we are going to score, extend battle lines. And if I discard blood and guts, I'm not playing corn, right? So That's true. Scored. Just come up here. Oh. There we go. Sorry, one thing I forgot, I forgot to fire up my uh, Storm Bolters at your wolfing. Oh, yeah, all those Storm Bolters. Um, well, I gotta do eight more shots after this because my World Leader still haven't come in yet. We're hitting on threes, and uh, my Demon Prince isn't nearby. Uh, and then we're talking about five on this guy? Yes. So, fives, so two so far, but I have two more guys to add to this pile. Okay. Uh, love it. Get in my hand. And we're adding three to that, so five wounds on you. Five wounds total. Uh, they are actually going to get a six, uh, three up save against this because of the storm shields actually give them a three oh, up that's save right. now. Plus one armor save. Yeah, man. plus one armor save. So um, five three up. One wound. One wound. Can I don't think I don't think they have it anymore. I think that's another thing that got taken away. Okay. These are the objectives that I drew. Secure No Man's Land, Raise Banners, and Battlefield Supremacy. Raise Banners is going to be pretty easy to get this turn. I don't think I'm going to have a problem with that. These two are actually not going to be within range of anything to pull it off effectively. But hopefully the next round they should be a lot easier to attain uh, if I play my cards right. So now we're just going to go into my movement phase. Wait, there's one important piece of information for the tail them. Ooh. I have to sit in a chair for the rest of this battle report, even though it looks unprofessional, because Ben's so much shorter than me that uh, if I stand up, he gets the lights in the shot. For those of you that are watching from Europe, it actually probably doesn't seem that all unprofessional. It's much more of a North American issue. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, people, like cashiers in Europe, they're all sitting, man. Oh, man, I would love to sit doing the live streams and stuff. Really? Right? I'll sit every battle report. It'll just get you a I stick. It's going to get you a stick to push your models across the table. Okay. <laughs> So we're going to do the command phase real quick. Um, because I plan on having the Wolf Priest do an action, I'm not going to worry about getting him to uh, do any aura abilities. Makes sense. Um, so I'm just going to do the plus one to wound on the Brutalis Dreadnought here, which goes off. Exhortation of Rage. Rage! That's going to be the end of my movement phase. These guys have run over here. He's run over here. He's run over here. These guys are claiming this objective, so that'll be an action that'll be done soon, hopefully. Um, I can't see anything, so there's no point um, to shoot at anything. Uh, I'm claiming and raising banners over here. Uh, the little wolves have gone up to screen. Um, I've got a dreadnought in front, just in case. Uh, he might, might not be the best part to place for that dreadnought, but you know what? I'm willing to take a take a risk. Um, Wolfen are here. I'm kind of screening out my backfield over here. Um, and that's going to be my phase. The only thing I'm going to score is raise banner, which will be done at the end of my turn, I believe. Your, here's, yeah, what are your raising banners? Yep. 
Uh... Oh, you want more Hero 2 objectives you claimed? Yeah, yeah, I'll do that in just a second. Um, but I think we're good here. Uh, that's going to be World Leaders, turn two. Yeah. Turn two, World Leaders. What's going on, Steve? No command phase stuff. I'm going to 7 CP. You're going up to 5? Five? 5. I drew uh, secure no man's land and hold the line. I keep it out of my deployment zone, and I go grab objective number 4. So, I didn't really want to go do that yet, because it puts me on the open from a lot of a lot of firepower. So, if I put somebody out there, I am I'm just dead. I'm just, uh, say so you're shot to death. So, we're going to do it anyway. And say you bite our Terminators and score points. We have to trade away some units. Uh, ben, you got a big thing over here. Yeah. So, I was thinking about bringing on reinforcements right here, which is like a 5 inch charge onto these guys. Which will, um, I think, probably just give me two blood type points if they kill each other because they fight on death. Yep. I think I'm going to wait one turn and not do it yet. Yeah, you're going to hold on to that. Got to hold on to that. So, um,. Uh, somebody's gonna get a kick in the. This is my channel. I do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> I can say whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm gonna move around a little bit and be very cautious. This, this is a very. We're really filling each other out this uh, this game, aren't we, Steve? What? Yeah. Hey, oh, we said out. Oh, okay. But yeah, let's do some. Let's do some movement. Man, that's gonna be the end of the movement phase. Did we show? Uh, I had 14 primary points. Five for one objective, five for another objective. This is this is the whiteboard we're using for points because we are super high end here at Mountain Miniatures. Super, super, <laughs> super duper. I did finish moving. So this squad of terminators with their seven inch move for Lord of Macaws moved out with one guy on the objective and then did the action to claim it. They're gonna then die. Unfortunately, two can be seen, which is kind of scary. Um, staying put, reshuffling a little bit. This squad's gonna stay on the objective, but we're close enough to. Uh, I think that only one Terminator, one Dreadnought can potentially do some work to them, but I think I'm okay. And we're going to wait one turn and try to wheel down some more guns as we shoot over there. None of my reinforcements are coming. I have So the audience right now is split with the way I'm playing. Half of you are like, come on, Steve, just run up there and play corn. I know. The other half of you is, yeah, good, you're playing the game properly. I know. It's a little boring. Well, he's, he's, <laughs> he's reserving his strength and he's waiting for the right time to strike. He's waiting not overextending. Bounce. Because if I just run forward, Ben's competent enough that he'll. He knows how to shoot, when to fight, where to fight. Uh, so well, that's that's arguable. But the question is, are my dice competent enough? Fair. Because because <laughs> if you know anything about me, I don't like having to roll fours for any reason. And you guys now have seen on the channel why. <laughs> I think I think even though I have no, I have very minimal shooting threats. I think I can play the points game. I have a, time is a little bit more on my side. Also because get get Ben's. Oh sorry, Ben's <laughs> guns are kind of keeping me pinned down a little bit without firing a shot. But yeah, no, I think this is the right call, so I'm gonna play a little more cautious, and next turn, all my reserves have to show up. Let's do some shooting. d Prince first. Into the Wolfen. Twos. Love it. And I think three, strength six. Beautiful, minus two. Minus two, so they actually have four up saves here. Do they all have shields? Um, except for the sergeant, because you're not allowed to put one on the sergeant. Oh, that's lame, okay. Right. Uh, okay, goes through how much damage? Two damage. Okay, so that guy dies, because I don't have a feel no pain. And then we'll do... Oh, we 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 show that we claimed the objective. Sorry, it's hard for me to keep track. Which yeah, happened. yeah, we talked about we talked about claiming. It's hard for me to keep track. You're when all I'm not, good. When I'm not on the camera holding the camera. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, Terminator's not firing at these guys here. Uh, I need eight more dice because you know I don't have a roll your dice yet. We're hitting on threes. We're gonna re-roll these ones, and then fives to wound these. Hey, hey. So we have what's that? Three so far, and then I have to do eight more shots because it's another dice. So threes. And fives. Nope. So three just moves. three? All right, so we're going to see what happens here. No more. Okay. No more? Okay. Just one guy died. I can live with that. That's my turn, my dude. Um, Blood and Guts, I'm going to hang on to. I have scored a secure no man's land, and I will score a hold the line unless Ben runs in my deployment zone, which I don't think he even can. So I will score one card for now. Okay, so we're going to roll for some litanies right now. Uh, the aura of plus two to charge, run and charge. Very good. Wait, did you roll one? I sure did. <laughs> well, I changed the whole plan, does not it? Um, and the uh, plus one to wound, um, I'm going to put it on this guy out front just in case he gets to do something, this uh, dreadnought, so we'll see. That goes, that does go off. Okay, um. Is that exhortation of rage? It's hate, rage, exhortation. It's a melee one, right? Yeah, it's a melee one. Um, the uh, Iron Priest is going to put plus one to hit on this Dreadnought right here. No. 
Um, and then I think that's all the command phase stuff. So we're going to see what movement looks like after this. At the start of this turn, I'm at 14 to Steve's 14, but we're going to see what it looks like at the end of this turn. Ben's moving his guys around. Let's come over here. I'm like, this changes everything. <laughs> the combo of these three cards. Remember everything at I said? This turn, at, at this, this turn. At this point in time. So remember when I said that every, the time was on my side? These three cards <laughs> mean Ben walks over this objective, takes the point lead, it changes everything heavy and ever. Let's, and let's see how that happens right now. What are you I'm, doing? I'm running oh, the wolves. They run five on. inches. He, he just scored 15 points with this run. One. Which I was like, I was okay with losing this two. objective. But I didn't expect to lose 15 points off of this. But it's okay. Okay, the time is no longer on my side. And that's where the game goes. And that's why we loves it. <laughs> that's going to end my movement phase. So I'm actually keeping everything over here with the wolves and the wolfy wolves and the wolfiness. Um, they're staying off? They're, they're, yeah, they're just kind of being there, trying to be as spooky as possible, kind of doing their jobs. Um, these guys shifted around a bit, um, just so if he does, if Steve drops in over here, um, I do, I can Auspex scan against him. Um, and then everything is just kind, kind of, reshuffled of in the middle a bit. I reshuffled a little bit over here. I moved around. I just got better positions. I make sure this guy's still back here zoning everything out, but he moved forward a little bit. So later turns I've, I've got positioning in a better, posi better place. Um, I don't think we've actually played a points game in a little while, Steve. Normally by turn two, we're like, all right, well, yeah, we'll going for moral victories. <laughs> Every now and then we actually play a dance game. Yeah, yeah, it kind of happens. Um, but so I if think... You, if you're well, I'm going to talk to the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, So if, if you watch us the last few weeks, we normally just goof around. But I've got some great requests for actual ninth edition coverage. And we'll go back here and goof around games too, don't worry. <laughs> we, we got stuff planned for the future. We got we got things that will... Tons of plans, actually. Yes, uh, things would be a bit more interesting, I think. Uh, uh, where are we at? Not that they're not interesting now. I think that's the end of my movement phase. I think we're going to go into the first space hole shooting phase of the game, and uh, we're going to see what happens. Who's firing first? Me. Okay. So the Redemptor Dreadnought is going to overcharge his Macroplasma Incinerator and get six shots. Nice. Okay, so, yeah, um, I am firing everything at them. All the guns? Yeah. yeah. There's, there's no other targets anyways, and if okay, you know, these guys don't get to shoot, then We'll, we'll catch the audience up. Most people don't know this, but you uh, can see all the angles. Ben's not going to come over here. Oh, you can't see. Uh, they're not all going to be able to fire, because I'm going to kill things in my sight. Yeah. Uh, so Ben's trying to decide like, how much to shoot, so he can make another squad to fire. Yeah. There's no right answer here. No, but these guys are hitting on twos right now. Yep. Because uh, I buffed them, and I didn't give anybody the chapter master thing at the beginning of the oh. command phase. So I'm not too worried about really it. I don't need it. Um, hitting on twos. Yep, that happens. So one wound, one you mortal were, wound. You're right and then two to wound. You're shaking that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so four? four saves at five up intervals. You kill one. <laughs> what I tell you, Steve? Right? What I tell you? You're going to kill the one model and you know, the rest of your guns. Yeah. Well, if Steve has to kill a guy from Coherency, I'm okay with that. I have written this two miles off, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you got that objective. You did the thing. <laughs> well, any shooting I... Nah, in case the wounds carry over, which is unlikely. Uh, the Dreadnought's going to have four Bolter shots from the Storm Bolters. Uh, Dreadnought, he is not... Yeah, it'll be four shots. Yeah. <laughs> um, hitting on twos. Okay, wounding on fours. Uh, three two-up armor saves, please. You got two wounds left on the guy on the objective. He actually lost a wound. Uh, and then the Icarus Rocket Pod, which is D3 shots, I believe. Yes. Um... Two shots. Um, strike seven yeah, minus yeah, one. First. Twos and threes. Twos and threes. Yep, very uh -huh. good. Um, that's what I get for not giving uh, a dreadnought his well, chapter or whatever. Have thing. This guy going as his damage should spill over. That's true. Um, is he actually within twenty four inches? Fire first. Um, everything. Fire everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So the four multi melter shots. Um, hitting on threes, wounding on twos. Uh, three five ups, fail two. Okay, one at a time. One's got one guy's got two wounds left. Yep. He's got one wound left. I'm gonna spend a CP to reroll. <laughs> I would 100. percent But of course, since it's a one, it rerolls into a. Ah, oh, uh, dead. And then the next guy. Uh, very good. Awesome. Bed. Carry on. Awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill him and then we're gonna wound this guy here. Because we're gonna go. No, ahead. he's he's got two wounds left. I only did one wound oh, with him. That's right. That's right. Multi that's, right that's right. He did one. <laughs> but. Hey, you know what? That's exactly how I expected it to go. At least it didn't re-roll into a one. That would have felt bad. That's true. <laughs> um, 
These guys no longer have a target, um, but that's fine. I can live with that. Um, is that your turn? I think it is. You're scoring 15 points. I'm scoring 15 points. I can't fill Morel. So I'm scoring three of these. They're going to go over here. You now have the lead. I now have the oh, lead. I did score hold the line. You have the lead by one card. All right, I drew two new cards. I got Investigate Sight and Raise Banner. Um, Raise Banners are super easy. I got 14 for primary because I have two objectives and then I still control those two objectives or claim them. And then I uh, get my command point going up to nine. I'm going to immediately spend that to discard Investigate Sight, which I can do. I can totally score this card, but at the expense of one of my units. And not worth it. So you, got, you got enough CP to throw around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we both go up a CP this round, too. And I instead, go I'm going to get... Back up to six. No prisoners. You got to kill how much? Blood and 30 wounds. Blood and guts, no prisoners are definitely cards I'm going to score. You, you got to kill those dreadnoughts. Be, but it might be sitting, uh, burning a hole in my pocket here, sitting around too long. But it's okay. Uh, 30 wounds I can do. Let's, uh, nothing to do with command phase. Let's do some movement. But this is the beginning of the movement phase. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and uh, move up a little bit. I'm going to see if I can taunt you forward, but not within line of sight to any of the guns. Uh, leave a gap open here, actually. You know, we're staying right where we are. Okay, Mind the gap. Um, we're going to go ahead and just keep shooting at them, hold the play game to stand off here. We got another uh, unit on the objective, but not in a way where he can, Ben can get onto both the units other than the little dreadnought, which I'm comfortable with. Over here, we're going to hold it steady yeah. over here. Okay. So these terminators are coming on forward. We're gonna go for our first um, blood tithe. Blood, uh, blood tithe. Well, blood tithe and first uh, blood and guts. We know we're sacrificing them, but what we're doing is we're taking this objective back away from you. We have another obstacle squad that are really safe to do next turn. We're playing ninth edition. We're playing points, uh, and then I have to bring on my reinforcements. Yes, yeah, so this is a turn where I get to start breathing a little bit easier because I'm gonna see where these guys are. All right. This, this is where Steve's eight bounder ending up. Playing cautious Warhammer, sitting out of line of sight with the deep strikers outside of nine of the wolves, and then the guys walked on my table edge right here. I want to expose them uh, to firepower, so we're ready to pounce next Steve's turn. Not, Steve's not a fan of threat overload. No, well, I think. Um, <sighs> yep. Yeah. Okay, so this one's raising the banners. Okay. On this objective, we are not going to shoot, and we are going to immediately charge those wolves. All right. Um, no shooting anywhere. No. Oh, wait a second. I might as well shoot. You're right. Steve, I have Wolfen over there. Oh, yeah. Uh, hold on. While we're over here. I'm okay, gonna, okay. Just do uh, this I'll, I'll fire these three at uh, Terminators, I guess. Okay. Sure. I can fail two. Whoops. Yeah. Everybody knows I can I can roll ones. Uh, we're looking for threes. No help from characters. And fours. You got uh, four saves. Four saves. Four two ups. Go walk that back to the camera. Ah! It's a blur. <laughs> Everything is a blur. Everybody knows I can roll ones. <laughs> one Terminator down to two chip. wounds. <laughs> and then, yeah, the same notches over here. So, yeah. game Prince first. Everything hits. Okay. Uh, two wounds, AP2. Two. two wounds, AP2. Uh, see if I can roll a four up here. I roll two. Nice. And then we're going to shoot. So, we have eight more dice after this. Storm bolters. Threes re rolling ones. We'll pull these twos. And we're looking for fives to wound. This point's not enough to kill anybody now. So we have two, and then we're gonna fire this many more shots. Move your models. Threes. We roll in ones. And then five. Move your models again, I'm sorry. We're adding uh, three to that pool, so five wounds. Five wounds total. One, two, three, four, five. I have three ups here. Um, I fail one. Nice. Let's just do this, George. Yeah. Not double ones, even double ones. I want to do a thing where I'm going to block you from getting on this objective unless you go this way, but you can't. The wolves through. are all going to be dead. I had to make sure you can't go within an inch of me. So are, you gonna play, are you planning on not killing all the wolves then? Uh, no, I'm planning on killing all the wolves. Okay. I'm going to start with the accursed weapons. We're hitting on threes. And then you dropped this three or four? Four. Ah, threes. And we kill four. Four are dead. Ah, uh, Barfus. Uh oh. Wait, how many are left alive? One? One. There, he's dead. Okay. I have no morale to make because everything's dead. One unit killed. Five wounds done. Raised banner scored. Game. I'm up. I'm in the lead now. But Ben, you're going to score 14 points and tie it up in your command phase. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> uh, so let's see what that's going to look like. 
So my objectives are going to look like no retreat, no surrender, bring it down, extend battle lines. I'm probably not going to get bring it down, but I did get no retreat, no surrender because I dumped a tempting target because we both know that's not happening. Gosh, you command point. <laughs> yeah. So I went up to seven. I'm back down to six. I'm up to nine again. Okay. Um, so then we're going to do command phase stuff. So let's start with um, plus two to charge in an aura. Got it. And we are going to give... The small Dreadnought off to the side here, he is going to get plus one to wound. Uh, I don't think he's going to be using it this turn, but I don't think anybody else is anyways, since it's going to be a melee thing. Uh, it goes off two. Um, we are going to give oh, the bring it down. Plasma Redemptor oh, sorry. Uh, plus one to hit. And I think that is going to be all my command phase stuff. What's up, Steve? So for bringing it down, uh, my DM prints in Invo Kodis, the highest, or tied for highest. Yep. I'm going to make Invo Kodis. Yeah, that's fine. I'm probably going to dump that at the end of my turn anyways. Uh, yeah. That's what my movement is going to look like this turn. Um, and then we're going to go into the shooting phase. Put it here, guy. Oh, yeah. He get, took a mortal wound from shooting last turn, and then this turn he healed the mortal wound. So he's fine. Um, and then we're going to see what happens. All right, so I'm popping the Signum on the uh, on the Sergeant right now to give the Cyclone Missile Launcher uh, plus one to hit. And I'm shooting with all the last cannons into those Terminators over there holding that objective currently. So that's going to be two crack missiles hitting on twos. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, and wounding on twos. Uh, AP2, four ups. Oh, D6 uh, damage. D6 damage. Um, one. One wound left on, uh, two wounds left on one guy. Yeah, two wounds left on one guy. Uh, you know what? That's fine. That's I got enough shooting, and the uh, shooting's all going the same place. I don't, yep. I'm not worried about it. Okay. Um, and then I've got four las cannon shots, all hitting on threes because I didn't move. Um, very good. Two hits, twos to wound. Okay, two wounds, eight, uh, five ups. Uh, kills that guy. Uh, next we're gonna fire with the redemptor with the plus one to hit on it. Um. He's going to have how many shots with Macroplasma? Five shots. Um, yes. Right, I'm mean, Yeah, because <laughs> he, he can get fixed anyways, so yep. there's no reason not to. Uh, hitting on twos. Okay, everything hit. Uh, wounding on twos. Um, okay, so four saves. Every failed one is a dead guy. They're dead. They're... Ah. Sorry, guys. For extended battle lines, I completely forgot that you're not allowed to leave an objective. No, that's no retreat, no surrender. No retreat, no surrender. Sorry. No retreat, no surrender. You're not allowed to leave that guy. So, so I, I thought I was being all like cool and like strategic moving that one guy up, but he's got to stay back there, which is fine. He's It's not really a huge deal. Um, so he's just going to stay there right now. And uh, we're going to see what happens in Steve's command phase. I didn't get to charge onto the objective like I wanted to. The Redemptor was just too efficient. I am going to discard Bring It Down because I don't see Steve throwing away any characters in the foreseeable, foreseeable future. And uh, hopefully that scores at the beginning of my next turn, which I don't think will be impossible because I think if Steve charges anything, it's going to die anyways. And I, I think this game... Oh, sorry. I, I'm probably not going to fall back in order to score that anyways. We're going to see what Steve draws. All right, I got Bring It Down. Oh, we got to pick one of your Redemptors, right? Uh, yeah. Um... It's going to be Mr. Brutalis, because people want to see that fight. Yeah, but I can't deal with it yet. I'm going to risk the command point and get something else. This is just discouraging. Keep on going up a command point and then... Oh, no! The poor teleport armor. I'm going to pre-discard it. Oh, okay, because you're not going to end up even trying for it anyway. I can't get it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to get 14 primary. Um, you're going to get... I think you're going to max out primary as well. So turn this turn four. I'm three shy. I'm, I'm gonna max primary. We're both gonna max primary. That's a given. So now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna push up on you now a little bit. Uh, you have to. No, I don't have to yet. <laughs> this is the most conservative corn play anybody has no, ever think, seen. No, maybe I will be pushing up on you because maybe you need you need to chip up with your own units now, right? So yeah, it's time to push up a little bit. Let's do this. All right, what's it look like, Steve? All right, so we um. Pushed on forward, protected ourselves. Oh, these are just my markers. So I don't get shot. Uh, Lord of Akadis has set up everybody to like be super aggressive next turn. So next turn, everybody's coming out. We're gonna wait one more turn. So Ben's gonna pull back or force the issue. And we are gonna go ahead and force the issue up here a little bit um, as we go ahead and fight. Uh, shooting, nothing to do. So, oh, I guess we'll charge. 
hey, we're in. Yeah. Or we do the thing where you just can't get on the objective. That's fine. Unless I whiff and then... I don't think you're going to move. It's going to be twos and twos, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're going to spend a command point. No, I think it's two command points. Uh, either way, red butchers, whatever it costs, whatever it costs, yeah. to increase my damage. So on every fail you say, it wants me to die. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. So you got to get five through. Uh, They're not damage nice. three, basically? Uh, well, one one guy is damage one. Oh. There's a lot of attacks. So he'll become damage two with like 12 attacks. Yeah. And the rest of them are, are they three damage or two? That 12 attacks. He might do it on his own. Yeah. Well, at, at two, at two at, damage, he I might do it on his own. two damage, he'll do it on his own. Yeah. There's always overkill. Otherwise, yeah, the weapons are uh, two damage otherwise. And again, this is probably extreme overkill, but I want to risk it. Well, you've got the CP right now. You got, what, and, nine CP? Yeah. Oh, sorry. It costs... Two for Red Butchers. Yeah, that, that's fine. And uh, they're not core. Can they use it? Yes. They, it's only used by um, Ex Terminators and 8-pound. Okay. Yeah, that's so it's all 8-pound, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's, he's staying out of range over there. He's only got one more turn to make a play after this. Oh, no. Okay. I'm hoping to make that difficult. What's up? Oh, uh, no, I was reading the, the Fight on Death one. Ah. It's just cheaper if you're a troop as well. So it's only core. But we're talking about something else. Okay, oh, okay cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, we have four tax. No, nope, wrong one. We have four tax each. There are three damage. Are you recording me still? Yep. So five tax each. <laughs> there yeah, are three yeah. Damage. People can see behind this. This is what Steve is doing most of the time. Twos. Uh oh. And then twos. This is the two damage guy. This is the three damage one. Oh. Okay. It's five at three damage. Five at three damage. See, I'll cut when it's me figuring out stuff and getting dice to roll. Fair. Uh, four ups. Uh, one one lives. One lives. All right, their next weapon, they also have uh, eight bound eviscerators. Okay, what are those gonna be at? Uh, they're just one attack each, so twos. And I think it's threes, I'll double check my strength, I don't have to check. Okay, uh, uh, AP's these are bunch. Yep. Okay, so four ups, uh, I fail one. Uh, it goes to three damage. Okay, so that's it, that's a squad. Yeah, so the Glade didn't need to, but yeah. we did get a blood drive point. Everything we expected to happen, happened. Yeah. All right, uh, would you like to consolidate them? No, I think I'm in a fantastic spot. Okay, sounds good to me. So we're going into my turn four. Um, I'm going to score another 14 points for primary because I still have the two claimed objectives. Uh, positions are a bit weird right now. Um, trades will continue Super to happen. Super freaking close game. Yeah, we're, we're keeping it tight, which is, which is nice. I like it. I like it. Uh, so we're going to see how this moves forward. I'm going to figure out my command phase and figure out what cards I draw. Because I do score. No retreat, no surrender because I, uh, I don't have to fall back. Yeah, I don't have to retreat or surrender. Um, so that's the end of that, and we'll see what cards I draw. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna draw these live. All right, Steve. All right, all right. Because so <laughs> the game is essentially a tie. So I'm gonna score my other. Card. It's really close. Ben's got the lead, but I'm gonna tie it up pretty soon. Primary, we're both gonna get. So we're gonna draw these cards live because if Ben can score these, I'm in trouble. Blood and guts. Love it. That's where I want you to be. Assassinate. Love it. And grind them down. Love it! So I gotta kill oh, more. You gotta kill more than me. That's fine. I will um I'll trade for assassination. It's been a command point. Yep. Um and it's going to be so that's gonna go over here. Please get down. something bad, please get something bad, please get something bad. Uh overwhelming firepower. You need to kill three things in shooting. You can probably get that by the end of the game. <laughs> by the end of the game, I believe I can. Um uh, so I'm gonna come out next turn. Yeah, you are. Unless <laughs> So your command phase, uh, you can turn on any Wisdom of the Ancients from your Dreadnoughts. Why don't you do Litany? The, Br the Brutalis is going to turn on Wisdom of the Ancients. Which one? Uh, the hit or the wound? Um, the hit. Okay, rerolling one's the hit from the Brutalis, and then Litany. So what do you want to do? Or sorry. Oh, sorry. No. Ah, do I do ones to wound instead? Because I've got ones to hit already kind of over there. And those guys can't fight in death, you said, right? Uh, not this squad. Yeah, that is all they can't fight in death, so I'm not as afraid of those guys. Just what the rest of my army can, though. Yeah, yeah, I, I hear that. I hear that. So... Wait, literally the rest of my army can't stuff my characters. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start with uh, Litanies. We're going to try and give this uh, Wolf and Dreadnought plus one to wound. Exhortation of Rage. It goes off, barely, but it does. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we are going to try and get the aura of plus two to charge. It also goes off. Uh, we are going to give, once again, we're going to give the, um, the, uh, plasma dreadnought the plus one to hit. Oh, did you turn off, uh, turn on, I'm sorry, for myself, I forgot to ask you. 
So that's the room. Which which uh, aura was in the entrance? Yeah. Which aura? Oh, wisdom of the ancients. Uh, it's gonna be the uh, rural ones to wound. Off of who doing it? Um, it's gonna be. It's gonna be this dreadnought over here. The little box one. The wolf and dreadnought's gonna okay. do it. Uh, cause he might as well bonus himself and the uh, Super and the lord in case he has to get in there. This game is so close, it's driving me nuts. Yeah, oh, buddy. <laughs> okay, let's. Like, I might not need it at all because these guys might smoke the eight bound just on their own. Yeah. But he's got four up in over there, so I trust nothing. I'm due, I'm due, I'm due to make them now, right? Yeah, you're due to, yeah, yeah. Now it's like nothing but. Um, so I might as well back up my uh, my melee. I'm not going to know it until I get there. But at least I am in the assault phase, so I've got exploding sixes. So let's see what this is all going to look like. So we'll go on to the shooting phase right now. Um, I'm going to start with the LAS cannons and uh, the stuff. Once again, I'm going to pop the Signum on the missile launcher. Um, so he's going to have two shots hitting on twos. Wounding on threes. Uh, two five up in bones, I assume? Four up, guys. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, D6 damage. D6 damage. Three? Just one. One Ooh. down. Ooh. Don't want to kill that guy. Yeah, I guess I do. Okay. Um, now we'll fire the Macroplasma. Let's see how many shots it gets now. Two shots. Wait, you, have, you have last cans to finish. Oh, I do have last cans to finish. <laughs> That'll be the amount of shots. I might reroll that for a CP if I get to that. Uh, so the last cannon shots hitting on threes, uh, two misses, uh, wounding on threes, uh, one wound. Four up. Fails. Would you like to reroll that? Uh, I, uh, I have a lot more shooting. I know, but I can't. No, wait. No. Hi, Josh. Ah, how much damage? Uh, four. Kills one. Another one dead. Um, so I. After all that, I will not reroll the amount of shots of the Macroplasma, okay. which is overcharging. Um, so hitting on twos. Okay, two hits. Um, wounding on threes, because your strength, toughness five, right? Uh, it is strength nine. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, two wounds. Four up. Made them both. Made them both. Um, I'm not going to bother firing the other stuff. Um, if I have to kill them in close combat, that's fine. Uh, yeah, because I'm set up for that, and i got to get blood and guts eventually anyways. Um, so we're going to fire the uh, four uh, multi melta shots at him as well. Uh, so it's going to be hitting on threes and wounding on threes. Uh, ones? We're rolling ones to wound because... Uh, no, that's only... I made the little dreadnought. Oh, yeah, he's too far away. Here. So, yep, yeah, uh, four up. I Makes it. it. That's fine. Uh, I don't think I have any more consequential shooting to do over there. So we are just going to go into... Charge phase now? Yeah. Yeah, charge phase. Hit me. Hit me. Cool. This is going to be a charge for the guy and a charge for the other guy, and you can't fight on death with these guys. No, not these guys, no. No, so I'm going to go there, and I'm going to go here for this. Who's going to try and kill me? Um, I got reroll ones to hit and wound over here because of that little dreadnought. Uh, Wait, does the, does the reroll ones work on the character? Mm, that's a good point. So it's probably going to be the Dreadnought then? Yeah, it's going to be the Dreadnought, because it's like he's wounding on twos. Do it. Yeah. So it's going to be uh, five attacks for the Wolf and Dreadnought over there. Um, hitting on twos, rolling ones, because the Wolf Lord is there. Wounding on twos, rolling ones, because he gave himself Wisdom of the Ancients. Um, and he's going to be D3 plus three damage, and I believe he's going to be wounding on twos, because I'm pretty sure he's strength ten with the axe and it's in this profile of the axe so hitting on twos re-rolling ones and an exploding six uh wounding on twos six. okay uh two go through d3 plus three damage three go through not re anything yeah okay <laughs> he's dead that's a blood tithe that's a blood tithe that's a blood and guts okay so then that's gonna be that. At the end of the fight phase, I'm gonna spend three blood tithe points and get pushed from the charge. Yep, that kind of makes sense. Uh, so that blood tithe is spent. That's the end of my turn. We're going into turn five, Steve. Yep. And okay. we, that's gonna mean we both uh, max out primary. Uh, I'm gonna get. Well, you scored then your turn. I guess it's possible I kill you off all the objectives. So I get three points, max me to 45 primary. Let's see what cards I get. Uh, grind them down. I do the same as you. So I now have no choice but to go uh, all kinds of crazy at you, so I'm going to do so. Okay. 
All right, what's it going to be, Steve? So everything on the off board. We uh, if we fill all these charges, uh, Ben's guns going to gun me down, and that's the world leaders with no transports. <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh, let's do. Oh, do I want to do some shooting? I'm going to do some shooting. Um, you got the wound in the back there, eh? Yep. Let's start off with this squad into that. Oh, should I put plazas elsewhere? No, because I'm going to make it in. Okay, bolt pistols, plasma guns. Okay. So plasma guns into the Redemptor. Two hits, no wounds, and then both pistols into the uh, those guys at the back. Three hits, no wounds. Oh, you didn't overcharge the plasma. Did no, 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 okay. for sure. Uh, same thing over here. Actually, everything's gonna go into the redemptor. Once again, so, not overcharging. No, of course not. Uh, they have two plasmas, two wounds, AP three. three. Uh, so I have six up saves. Yep. Uh, two six ups. That's gonna be none. Uh, one damage each. Yep. Okay. And I'll, then we're gonna I'll figure out what his wounds are later. Pistols. Uh, one more. Uh, three up safe. Makes it. Down to eleven. Um, we're gonna have this guy fire at the uh, Wolfen. Wolfen for sure. Twos and threes. We have one safe. Uh, I'm gonna CP it. Mm, yeah, cause I can't kill two. I'm gonna CP it. Two saves. Two saves. Um, so uh, four ups. Make one fail one, I will CP one of those. Uh, nope, doesn't work. Kills well, the guy at the back? Kills the guy at the back. And now we're not gonna shoot at them no more, so we'll put bolt guns into him. Okay. Here's eight more shots afterwards. We're gonna reroll these ones. And that was a hit. And then this is fives. So we have four, five, six in the first volley, and then Eight more shots, and I find woo, not knock over train. Five, eight. Just going into the dreadnought? Yeah. Okay. Reroll one. Just trying to chip them down, even though if I get to them, I'm probably going to kill them anyway. But you know, uh, two more. Two more Seven saves. Seven saves. Seven saves. Uh, three ups. Uh, fails one. One more. So he's down three. Seven. Seven to ten? There's seven saves. Oh, seven saves. <laughs> I have five more to roll. <laughs> it's five to wound, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, man, you rolled well. I did. Uh, three more. Uh, oh, five more. Uh, one more. So he's down to nine wounds. Suitable. Oh, we are into the dreadnought. Uh, okay. Not oh, supercharging. There's only one plasma pistol. And it hits. It wounds. Four up in volume. <laughs> hey, it mattered. And four pistols. Everything hits. No wounds. Okay. All right, let's just charge. All right. Uh, what do you know what we're watching? Um, depends on where. Right here, right here. Oh, no. Yeah. I, have, I have a storm bolter on them, which I have not been firing because honestly. <laughs> right. Um, eight down, going after both. Okay. Front squad. Should do fine with a plus one. Just make sure I get back That's all the way there. charge. Yeah. Right over here. Where's this fight slash? It's over there. Yep. Uh, then we're gonna go this way. Okay. Let's send in. Let's send in the DM prince. Okay. Oh, do you want to rush this? In the brutalis. Yeah. He's got a four-up invul and he's got five-up feeling pain? Uh, nope, but he is minus one to wound. Ah, uh, yeah, no, go for it. Beautiful. He's in, he's got a 12. I'm gonna go the far away. Okay, what's happening next? Um, a lot of options here. They are gonna charge. Where? And I'm thinking the answer is going to be. I might do everybody. What's this over here? Eight will get me there. So you can show a seven. You can show a seven. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to do with them, uh, everybody. Okay. Now, if you overwatch and I die, I'm going to move forward D6 before I charge. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm not overwatching. Okay. I've got, I'm gonna, go I've got D6 shots with the plasma, so I'm, it's not worth it. I am going to... Do I need this? Here's the risk. Yeah. Go for the hard seven. Oh, you're not going to roll the, th uh, the 3D6. I might save it for these guys. Yeah, fair enough. Hard seven, but you got to re-roll. You can use. Is this one more important? I got to double check some ranges. So this is going to be... That's seven, so it's six. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is very important. I'm going to do it. So we're 3D6 charge okay. for command point. You didn't it. need it, discard the lowest, so they're in. Okay. So that was the CP. I don't think we need to keep track of CP anymore. I think we'll have enough to do whatever we need to do. Oh, not necessarily. I have to keep track, trust me. <laughs> it's gonna get, it could get rough. 
for all the things I plan on doing. All right, uh, Terminator's got to go. Just them. Okay. Wow, Love you're it. just rolling high. Love it. Uh, who do I need next? <sighs> Let's do. You no, know I do. This squad is going to go after. Okay, this. what do you need to show there? Because you got to go around it's to gonna, that. It's going to be a lot. Okay, so well, you've been rolling high. Eight, nine. A nine, probably. <sighs> Which yeah, I like, think so. Uh, yeah, you're in. Okay. My goodness. This is why you be patient. This is why you be patient. See, if you could just roll a low charge for one of your units, I'd appreciate it. No. Nope. They're going to go after the Brutalis. Okay. I'm going to CP that one. Yep. Beautiful. In. Um, I we will... Are, we're going to fight... Oh, you're going to try and go for the Lord of the We are now? sending the Lord of the We're going to make sure... I think he does not have a reroll. He probably has to show like a six or seven. Six, Ooh. seven. Ooh, you are with an eight. Oh, yep, an eight. So that six. gets him just. Oh, Joss! Holy crap! So Steve made all of his charges, which is more than I expected. Again, uh, you can go to my seminar. So we're gonna we're gonna choose. All of these guys can fight on death, right? No. Oh yeah, anybody can do it. It's, it, it only one is gonna do it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna force you to make it the berserkers fighting on death. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, they're gonna fight last. They're gonna fight on death. Yep. Okay. You have two so command points to interrupt. So you're pretty well. You're golden. You're golden. Yeah, and I don't have to worry about these guys fighting on death, because now you've spent it on the berserkers over Correct. here. Correct. So I do have half decent options depending on where you put your attacks. Yep. I'm trying to decide. I actually don't know where to go. So okay. Well, we'll come right back after Steve decides. That's fair. Okay, so twos to hit. D we have to tell the camera. <laughs> so uh, the DM Prince here. Oh. He's going to fight the Brutalis right now. Yep. And everything, well, one miss. Three, this is the sword. We have uh, five saves? Yeah, AP. five saves. Three. Three, so six ups. Um, three, four. How much damage is this? Three each. Ooh, so three of these got to get through. Uh, and four get through, so a CP reroll wouldn't do me any good. Um, does he explode? You want him to? You want him to? Yes! He does. <laughs> Even I wanted him to! <laughs> I will take that. Um, okay, so Demon Prince? Yep. Um, three, okay. Three! Ten of five. <laughs> Next. Um, the Berserker's right there beside him. Two. Two. Oh, okay, kills so a guy. One's dead. Uh, Lord of Akatis. One. Takes one, okay, he's done a seven. The Terminators. This is the big one. You want a three here? Get it? Get it? Yeah! Ah, Terminator! <laughs> uh, the guys that fight on death? Yep. Ah, uh, they're not gonna fight on death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Okay, um, my Dreadnought here. Uh, takes three. Um, my... Hold on, mark, mark them, because we're gonna forget. <laughs> There's too many things here. Okay, so he's gonna, he's, I'm just gonna mark what they've taken. I'm not gonna worry about what the stuff is. Um, the uh, Wolf Priest is going to take two. I think he only has four wounds. Uh, the Iron Priest is going to take one. Oh, where's the Iron Priest? He's right here. Oh, ah, yeah. It's six inches, right? Uh, it might be three, actually, dude. <laughs> well, we'll find out after this. Okay. And the big, the other Dreadnought's going to take two. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. There it is. Um, I think the Wolf in, if, if it's six inches, um, a wolfin will die. If it's not six inches, then a wolfin might live. We'll find out. <laughs> well, that is one way of making sure the wolfin does not fight on death. Um, you have to fight on melee attacks. Okay, but this guy is done and dead, dead, dead. Yes. Am I down two? Oh, yeah, you killed one in the shooting okay. phase. Um, what do you have? Do you have? Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, you killed one in the shooting phase. That was his two wounds that you took off him. And this guy's gonna be alive on one wound. My bad. My bad. I just left the uh, I left the dice there from when this oh, guy three died. There are three wounds apiece. Gotcha. Piece, I believe. Are they everybody? Are they? They are. No, they're two wounds apiece. He's absolutely dead. I think another. We've one. been think, uh, doing this wrong. All right, and we're the wolf have been way more survivable than they actually have been. <laughs> oh wow, they're only two wounds apiece. Okay, so um, we, we can figure this out no problem. No, because it depends on when the two damage was done. Yeah, we can figure this out no problem. Okay, so the so, sergeant's left alive on one wound. We think that's accurate. If it's wrong, uh, I want you to know neither one of us care. Um, <laughs> 
we're just gonna move on because stuff happens in every game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's all of his attacks. Now I get to interrupt. Uh, yeah, hold on. I might, I might want to pile in first. Oh, you might want to pile in, might you? Um, do I want to pile in? No. No? No, he'll stay there. Okay. Sounds good. All right, let's see where everything else is going. So what we're going to do is we're going to fight with the Wolf Lord. It's going to interrupt and cost me two CP. So I'm down to two. Um, and he's going to be hitting on twos, exploding sixes. Into which one? Uh, the um, eight bound that are in that charged him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, the other eight bound that, can't that, hurt that, him. That's a dumb question. <laughs> yeah. Um, twos. Uh, one exploding six, so six hits out of five attacks. I will take that. Who's five? Um, so threes to wound, re-rolling ones. Nice. Yeah, I could... Uh, now. Nah. Yeah, that was the right call. Uh, okay, so... Th yeah, Thunder Hammer. Okay. So six five ups. I believe we're done. Okay, so he kills a squad. That gives, blood tithe! That gives you Blood Tithe, and that gives me another Blood and Guts. I'm up to two. <laughs> I just got to kill one oh, more unit. Well. Yep. Okay. Berserkers into that Dreadnought. All right, we have five attacks with the big ol' axe. Uh, no too far to reroll. And these are threes to wound. How many wounds? Only one. Only one? Yep. Uh, four up invuln. Uh, fails it. I will spend a CP to reroll that. Um, because the other stuff is wounding on fours, right? Uh, strength seven or strength six? Strength six. Oh, so wounding on fives. So I'd like to make this. Yep, he does. So he's taking no damage so far. Uh, I need way more dice. So your eight bound can probably kill him, but I want to force them to kill him. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm going to, uh, whoa. Okay, here is, oh man, sorry, I dropped the dice. This is one, two, three guys. I have two more to put after this. Yep. Uh, we're on threes. And uh, fives? Oh, come on, get in my hand. And one, two, three, four. Oh, jeez, let's pull like this. Uh, six so far. I got more tech. Six. Okay. And then we have... Is there one damage five each? Five and... Yeah, these are one damage each. Okay. Uh, this misses. That was not part of it. And we're going to add two more so to that. Seven, seven total? All right. Seven four-up saves. We're going to see what that looks like. Um, I fail three, so he takes three wounds. And these guys are going to go make sure we retag this guy. Yeah. So we can fight him first next time. Oh, and then we're going to actually we're gonna try to get in that gap. Yeah, whatever. We'll see there. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Um, okay, so let's do the big three damage attack. And do I have to do red butchers anywhere? I don't. These guys only have eight wounds, right? These dreadnoughts? I might as well do red butchers because nowhere else am I going to do multiple damage. Okay. Let me just check some. He's going to red butcher yeah, this one. Yeah, that makes one. sense. Uh, okay. Um, eviscerators on threes and threes. So we have three saves. Three Involved. saves on four ups. Uh, one goes through. Four damage. So it's seven damage I've taken. I think you only have to do one more to me. More? Okay. Uh, let's do the... Uh, sorry, that was lacerators. This is the eviscerators. Okay. Uh, these are threes. Pull these out. There's another two in there. And these are threes. Uh, three more, four more invulns. Four more invulns. I gotta make all of these. Uh, is this all the rest of your attacks? Or you still have one guy to attack? I have, I have, no, I have, uh, two more attacks from two models. Okay. Uh, no, he's dead. Does he explode? No, he does not. Okay, so that's all the attacks over here. And we're gonna, whoop. Ah, okay. We're gonna consolidate so we touch the, stand up guys. We're gonna consolidate so we touch him. Nice. Yep, sounds good. Um, just the Terminator's left to attack. The other one's gonna be consolidations, but Terminator's the only ones that yeah. have anything to do uh, at this point. Uh, uh, I guess I'll stand here so we can go there. So you only three can make it. Yep, sounds good. Uh, okay, give me a second, you get all these attacks, ah. six attacks. We have three more attacks after this. Oh, dang. Sorry, I piled up. I have one guy to stay where he was, so I can reroll ones to hit. Okay. And then we have two misses, but I have three more. Oh, three misses. I have three more attacks. I don't think you need to roll them, Steve. That's, he's got, I, you're right. I don't He's sorry. got one wound left and no end bomb. <laughs> and sorry. he's dead. You want to fight on death? <laughs> uh, well, he gets to fight on death. He just That's fights on death. Two more uh, so let's figure out how many attacks he gets. All right, so this is going to be uh, six attacks from the uh, pack leader, uh, hitting on twos, uh, no rerolls, um, but no sixes, so just loses an attack, uh, and wounding on threes, rolling everything. 
Uh, okay, uh, four or five up saves, please. Oh, sure. How much damage? One damage each. All right, kill one. I'm happy to drop in another one. Uh, and he is removed from play. I'm not gonna consolidate. Uh, I have to fight last, right? Yes, you have to fight last, so I have to figure out how I'm handling this. Because chances are my Warlord is dead here, which means I won't get a CP next round. Um, yeah. I'm going to go with the squad. Yep. They're going to consolidate and pile in. I'm not going to, I am not going to get within one inch of you. Okay. So this is Nanners. What happened here is I have lookouts around these guys. If you shoot them, I'm going to engage you in combat. Fair enough. Uh, so we're going to see... And then see. he's going to go uh, pilot and consolidate, blah, 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 done. Now uh, I fight last, so you're right. Okay, so I'm up with whatever I want to be up with at pretty much at this point. Um, you know what? Power Fist is going to be AP4, so you're not going to have a save on them if I fight with my Warlord. Yeah, it's going to be the only time I get to fight with my Warlord. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to figure out how many attacks that is. Yes. Um, so this is going to be um, is four attacks. This is a chaplain. This is a chaplain. Okay. Uh, four attacks, hitting on twos. Um, one explosion, so all hit. Um, wounding on twos. Awesome. I actually won't hurt me now. That's okay. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not ruling anything. Uh, yeah, that's shouldn't. AP4. Uh, it's a dead no guy. Save. Okay, I'm going to put it on the eviscerator and he's going to attack the chaplain. Yep, that's fine. He's hitting on threes and he's rerolling ones. And he's eviscerator on... isn't minus one to hit? It's not. It's a, sorry, corn. Uh, it's, I, I call it oh, eviscerator. It's just, yeah, okay. Uh, that many wounds. Uh, oh, it's strength eight? Yeah. Okay. No, it's strength nine right now. Oh, okay. Yep. I think uh, it's minus three. You got so, a nibble, right? Four saves. Four saves. Um, uh, I failed three of them. He's uh, dead. He's dead. Another blood tithe and a bonus for character. I'm wrapping them up now. Yeah, buddy. Uh, all sorts of blood tithe. Um, okay. You play next with the drink. So which guy is dying? The eviscerator oh, guy died? This guy here. So the rest of the guys are only strength six, right? Correct. Okay, cool. So I'm actually pretty happy with this. Um, I'm going to attack with the wolf and dreadnought next. Um, and he's going to have a bunch of attacks that I'm going to go figure out. Sure. Five attacks. Um, hitting on twos. Um, so one miss. Uh, but one explosion, so four. Uh, wounding on twos. Okay. okay four wounding on twos. I want to check a strategy. I, don't uh, I can... believe this is also AP4. Uh, uh, I'm going to see if I can... Uh, this is a strategy I want to do, but I might not be able to do because I'm not I'm not choosing to fight. Okay. So I'm going to see if... Like, I have a thing I can do, like, automatically wound on six and eight or something like that. Okay. I'm going to check the way the wording is. All right. I don't think I can use a strategy where I automatically wound here because I didn't select a fight yet. We're going to threes. Oh. And fives. Oh, you're golden. Only one. Only one? AP? Uh, uh, and Vuln. Yeah. AP and Vuln. Uh, he fails it. Down to four. Down to four wounds remaining. This squad here done and dead. That gets me my blood and guts. That's another blood tithe for Steve. Yep. I'm going to score both of these cards. I got four pips on my grind them down. Ben failed his grind them down. Yeah, I got it with. I only had three. So close, but yeah. I wasn't able to get that one more kill. Uh, you um, oh, oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Um, the the Redemptor hasn't gotten a fight, but. He can't fight. He, he was charged. He was charged, but he, he didn't charge. But he hasn't piled in yet. He didn't charge. He can't pile in he didn't charge. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. That's why I stayed outside the bench of everybody over here. Yeah, 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 fair enough, fair enough. Uh, so I think that's you, that. You will score your blood and guts. I will score my blood and guts. And you will lose grind them down. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, last turn of the game. Bottom of turn five. Uh, I'm up by one card. I'm, I'm going to max primary. Ben scores his primary at the end of the How turn. How many cards do you have? Six. I have seven. I know, I know. But I'm, I'm up by one card. I'm, you're, sorry, did I say it wrong? Oh, sorry, no, you got to grind them down, so we're tied for cards right now. No, no, I don't score this yet until the end of your turn. Oh. I'm going to score this to tie. Yeah, I have to kill if you don't, If you things. don't kill four things, it's a tie game. Yeah. However. Hold the line. Uh, what's, okay, uh, I forget what that one is. Is that keeping it in the deployment zone? Um, 
Boom, hold the line, scores it. You're gonna score it no matter what. Um, and area denial. You fail, I got that for sure. Okay, uh, that's it, that's game. You can pass your turn. I will score grind them down. You get hold the line and you win the game by one card. Now, wow. let's get right to a post game because uh, that was the closest game we've played in forever. I know. And I that, was a, that was a ninth you edition. Kill something, Steve. Well, you got, well, okay, so your firepower was gonna drop. So your firepower, you didn't have a lot of firepower, but you had a lot of firepower that was really good anti my army. I couldn't cross the field fast enough, but they'll get die from all the guns. Um, that being said, here's the thing I noticed. I see that the commenters know as well. We did a we did a whole lot less laughing and giggling and goofing around than we normally do when we just throw down. Well, we were stuff. concentrating. More. Well, it was a tight game, bro. Like if you didn't, it would been. A, it was <laughs> if you didn't draw that. What's the next card? Defend strong. You would have got that as well. Either way, you would have got it. I think for me, um, I need to get some rhinos and I need to get some. Backfield firepower. Maybe some, maybe some, I don't even know. I uh, know. If you had rhinos, you Probably, felt more confident exposing yourself. You would have put more things out in the You know how good rhinos and berserkers are? I, I, I am aware. I'm fully aware. <laughs> They're so that busted. Berserkers and rhinos is good, but for every rhino you take, that's like one less squad of something. Yeah, exactly. No, exactly. And this kind of firepower would have dropped a rhino. Well, the idea, the idea is you drive a rhino all the way, and if you drop the rhino, you know, the squad gets out, and if you shoot them, they like, D6 into you. But like, I, it's, it's all, to me, it's all theory now. If I haven't done it yet, That's but um, what was I gonna say? There was one thing I wanted to say. I forgot what it was. Shooting, then I could have dropped the rhino far enough away. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, no, the idea was yeah, you you hide in the line of sight until you just zoom on your face. Yeah, so just... you know what the you know what the you know what the pinnacle thing like the the, the, the what's the word I'm looking for the end all be all why I think I just I was on the back foot from most of this game. Well, other than you drawn the three perfect cards in that one turn, well, I did not I did not want to go first against this list. Put the whole game if hiding. If you had gone second, I would have put the whole lot better. That end, that end game scoring probably would have been a bit different. Let me check something right here because you might have a bunch of units in my deployment zone. Uh, is it corner to corner? It's thirty to corner. Oh no! Do we have to play this out? You're right. I'm in your deployment zone. <laughs> ah, no, I'm not. My terminators are. Because they have to be holy within. So my terminators are in. That's it. Okay, so I can shoot your terminators to death. Pretty yeah. easily with everything. Well, I do have. I have to have more than one unit or just one unit? Um, def oh, sorry. Uh, which one? It's the it? defense stronghold. No, defense stronghold is the extra one I pulled. I'm pretty sure. Oh, hold the line. Hold the line. Hold the line. Hold the line. It's on the pile right there. Ah, hold the line. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Um, the secondary mission is achieved at the end of your opponent's next turn. At the end of the battle, uh, if there are no enemy units, yeah, okay. So within range of you your put all your zone. firepower in these three terminators plus your wolf and charge them. And you're right out charging. I don't have any wolf in left, Steve. Thunderwolf, sorry. Thunderwolf calf. Once again, yeah, spending me. that spending that CP to put the special frost claws on the, the sergeant that I never get to use. So I'm going to ask a question, but I think it's a loaded question. Uh, when Ben and I play, we're going to do both go back and forth. Ah, 10th edition around the corner, never mind. I'll say, do you rather <laughs> see us do you rather see us play this kind of like uh, in the grim darks of the far future, there is only scoring, or do you want us to throw down and goof around like we normally do? Uh, I was going to say, it doesn't matter because the people who are still watching this battle report, Enjoy this type of battle report, so they're gonna say do more of this. You could put this clip at the beginning of the battle report. Nope, Steve. that's too much editing. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> it's it's moving one shot. So stay tuned. Uh, we're keeping 4K going on this channel. Uh, for you horse history players, I know it's been a while, but I got a bunch coming up. Actually, I got them recorded. Uh, stay tuned uh, for more. Sigmar. Okay, well, don't give away all my secrets, Ben. Well, like, <laughs> do do people want to see it? Sure, fair enough. Um, like I'm down. I mostly just play Night Haunt. I kind of you know, he, an old. Here's the here's Saturday. the real question. Okay, Ben and I have uh, plans. I'm putting Ben on payroll, sort of, not really, but sort of. Okay. I'm, I'm I'm trying to get trying to get this channel going on the proper. Ben's my 40k guy. But he's also my Sigmar guy. So do you want to see handheld Sigmars or live Sigmars? I don't. I know Sigmar people aren't watching at this point. Do people want to see live 40k? Well, okay, so I'll tell you about that. Okay, here's some behind the scenes stuff. I'm, I'm waiting to make a decision on Live 40K. Um, I find that the train is so high that with a two-man operation, without a camera operator, it's hard to really follow. I'm gonna wait and see the mechanics of 10th edition and how, if levels really matter on terrain. They might, they might not. Well, you could do, that's, that's two level terrain. Yeah, but okay, but the, the problem you could is, have, you could have... the problem is, look, look over here, this camera angle right here. Here, I'll take this away. You can't see, I'll turn the camera so you can see this, Ben. Can you see the lens? Yeah. Look how much is cut off the table, it's hard to follow. 
uh, basically what was happening a lot of all of our combats were happening behind the ruins, behind terrain, every time. Uh, so either either I need a third Can operator. Can you cut to a handheld while filming live? Yes, but I need a third operator. Well, your opponent can't do it? Interesting thought. So, like, if, if you're doing it against me, I can do left-handed awkward hand rolls, like dice rolls. I don't care. Hmm. Okay, you know, we'll have, we'll have, some, we'll have some thought. Let, let us know in the comments. Damn close uh, game, dude. Me, me and Steve love sticking around in the comments. Uh, we love do you, do you, okay, I'm gonna say, this is for this is for yeah, it's true. This is for Ben and not really for the audience. But do you notice that Ben you, you and I bicker more when we are goofing around and playing a dumb game? When we're playing tight, we are so generous and just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, that, that looks good. Oh, you don't think, oh, yeah. you don't want to say, okay, you're gonna say, okay, yeah. see if you're now, whatever. And then when we play a goofy game where nothing matters, we're just running for it going raw. No, nah, we, bro, we, we I don't think meters on the second floor. <laughs> I don't care if they're in the open, take the shots. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Or no. See you tomorrow. I got uh, two better person this week, no, I believe. guys. See you when I see you. Hey, do you like Ben? Can't stand this douchebag. Hey, guys. Love you. Okay. I'll be, I'll be working. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. There will be plenty more to watch upcoming and plenty more already on the channel to watch if you haven't already done so. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's really helpful for the channel. Comment below, engage with Algorithmo. Helps with the channel a whole bunch and think about joining the channel. There is a join button right next to the subscribe button. So I know you already click that button. Uh, learn about everything you get from becoming a channel member. Access to Discord and a bunch of other extra videos. We're gonna think of uh, some people over here scrolling by. These are the Rock Jocks and Peak Supporters. They're higher tier channel members that uh, they do a lot to help this channel keep it going. Can't do without each and every one of these people over here. Super appreciate them all. See you in the next one, guys. Happy Wargaming.